Okay, Alistair. Today I'm going to compare both your swings side by side. Let's see what we got. In the one on the left, you're way more athletic. Your balance is better. Your body angle is better. Your shoulder tilt is excellent. In the picture on the left, your arm angle, your lead arm angle is way better than the one on the right. Your bat angle is way better too. Knob to the catcher's feet, <clears throat> not to his face mask. Here's the thing. This is the position in both pictures that you need to be in once your front heel hits the ground. That's when the swing starts. You've gotten yourself into the perfect position too early. You need to hold it longer and I'll move forward and show you what happens when that front heel hits the ground. That's when the swing begins. In both videos, your heel has landed. In both videos, your shoulders have flattened out too soon. You should still, you need to still keep that shoulder tilt in place. The video on the left, however, you've managed to hold your arm angle. On the right, you're starting to armbar that lead arm. Elbow is beginning to lock. In the video on the left, your hands are in perfect placement right next to your shoulder. You have not separated it, your hands from your body at all. In the picture on the right, your hands are starting to go back, causing your arm to bar and making your swing longer. Your hands are away from your body. In the picture on the right, we talked about how your elbow is leading the knob of the bat. So you're dragging the bat through the zone. You've corrected this on the one on the left. Good job, Alistair. Check out the angle of your lead arm on both these videos. Again, you made the correction on the one on the left. You kept that lead elbow bent. Really good. You're still squishing the bug in both videos. You need to get up on that tippy toe better and drive your back knee towards your front knee while locking the front knee at the same time. 